Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Gaming baddies don't come much more unhinged than Far Cry 3's Vas Montenegro, coming at you like the Batman's Joker if he'd got a tropical paradise suntan instead of applying Factor 100 sunscreen in some dingy Gotham alleyway. It's set to be a big year for Vas, he's definitely returning for Far Cry 6 upcoming DLC packs, and may even feature in the campaign. And now he's also starring in the Far Cry franchise's first foray into virtual reality. But there's a catch. No time for emotional reunions, you got a gun in your hand, time to use it! Far Cry VR Dive Into Insanity does feature this fan favourite character, and yet really it's just a Far Cry game in name only. The Tech Radar team found this out for themselves during a recent playthrough. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Far Cry VR Dive Into Insanity is a free-roaming VR experience that's being hosted at zero latency virtual reality locations around the globe. 52 in total, with 3 in the UK and 11 in the United States. Returning to Far Cry 3's Rock Island, you and a gang of up to 7 pals find yourself captured by the villainous Vass, and must work together to blast your way out of the pirate's clutches. Though you may be familiar with PlayStation VR or even Oculus Quest, Zero Latency works a little bit differently. For starters, you're not confined to your bedroom or living room. Instead, you're in a warehouse-sized play space, hosted by a game master that will help get the experience set up. Each player is given an OSVR HD2K headset, attached to a gaming laptop housed in a backpack, and networked up wirelessly with your fellow players. You're then handed a pump-action peripheral complete with motion trackers, and after a short setup process, you're thrust into the virtual reality world. From there, you're free to run around with relatively few restrictions. A really freeing experience for anybody used to the confines of room-scale play. At zero latency, you've got roughly the space of a tennis court to run around in, with the headset UI smartly warning you if you're approaching real-world walls or another player. In terms of full motion and immersive movement, it's about as good as VR gets. The game itself is very straightforward, however. The interlocking emergent systems of the Far Cry series are gone. There's no stealthy kills, no animal taming, no crafting, and no open world. Dive Into Insanity is very much a points-based on-rails shooter. There's more in common here with the arcade staples like Time Crisis and House of the Dead than the free roaming that we've come to expect from Far Cry. And yet in the context of a multiplayer shooter, that's perfectly fine. Chasing the highest score is far more of a novelty when side by side physically and virtually with your pals. Dive Into Insanity does a good job of recreating the visual feel of Far Cry's third installment. Chock full of lush jungles, bandana wearing pirates, rusty container sheds, and exploding barrels. There's even a hallucinogenic shootout in a mysterious cavern, through which sea creatures float and pirates take pot shots at you from the ceiling, a particular high point of the experience for us. Zero Latency VR's weapon peripheral is responsive and accurate too, letting you switch on the fly between bullet-spewing Rambo-aping machine guns and more of a refined and accurate one-hit kill crossbow. We would have loved to have seen the level design and environments be a little bit more ambitious in design. For the most part, you're funneled from one arena-like shooting zone to another, with distant enemies being picked off from afar, while you're stood shooting from a cave ledge or a moving cable car. Also, the final battle against Vass and his cronies was a bit drawn out, overly reliant on waves of enemies rather than the show-stopping spectacle a VR game scale could be capable of. Despite these small grumbles, we still had a hell of a lot of fun and quite the workout too. Without going into too much gory detail, we were dripping with sweat by the end of the game's 30-ish minute runtime. Prices vary from city to city, but a session of Far Cry VR Dive Into Insanity starts at £20 or $40 per person at off-peak times. You can add roughly an extra £10 or bucks to that price for a peak time playthrough. If we're honest, it's a bit of a Far Cry from a Far Cry game then, but it's an excellent showcase for social VR gaming, and a fantastic way to get hyped up for Far Cry 6.